Hello everyone, welcome back to Maverick Mods. Today on the Firebird, we're going to take the front suspension apart, get the subframe off of it, take the rear end out, get the leaf springs, basically strip the suspension and everything underneath the car off. Should be entertaining. So, cue the music. Okay, slight intermission here. When we picked the car up, something didn't seem right with the front springs. Of course, whenever you've got the engine transmission, front sheet metal off, there's not a lot of weight on the front end, so you expect the car to be at full extension on the uh, front suspension, which it was. Um, however, when we dropped the engine transmission and front sheet metal on, we're adding just probably eight hundred pounds or so and you would expect the springs would squat at least some and they didn't they didn't move an inch so later on when we got it here in the shop um, we did a little test and I'm not kidding two guys sitting on the fender fender would not compress the fender at all uh, didn't really have an explanation for that until we got the uh, front suspension apart and when we started looking at those springs I was really, really worried just what it was going to take to get those springs out. I was really afraid that somebody was going to get hurt taking those springs out. So we took extra precautions. We ratchet strapped the uh, springs as uh, thoroughly as we could, uh, used a, a spring compressor, which I don't like using either. Um, and it took a little bit of everything to get those springs out. And But in the end, one question was answered and another question popped up which we don't have the answer to so I don't have a set of F body springs with me here in the shop but if I remember correctly uh, uncompressed uh, even a set of st stock springs uh, even a set of big block springs uh, generally is no more than about I think they're about 13 inches tall five and a half inches in diameter something like that these springs 18 inches I have no explanation for that. I really don't. Obviously, these springs are not Camaro Firebird springs. They're not F-body springs. And I don't know where they came from. If I were to guess, I mean, these are not cut. They're not altered. If I were to guess, I'd say maybe these springs came off of a heavy-duty pickup front suspension. It's all I can figure. 
Uh, why they were on the car? Again, no idea. Uh, the other thing is, as hard as those springs were to get out, I'm not, I have no idea how they got them in in the first place. So, enough of the intermission, back to work. Next up, we're removing the fuel tank. Under normal circumstances, we've just got some spring clamps on both ends of the lines here. I am not reusing these lines, so we're just gonna cut these. Guys, 50 some odd year old fuel lines probably need to be replaced. And these do. Next up, we'll get a jack under the tank. I have no earthly idea if it has fuel in it or how much. But let's take the straps loose. It's only one way to find out. came out way too easy. Let's try this one. Grunk strap. There we go. All right. Now, let's see how we do here. It's got a little fuel in it. Maybe a couple of gallons. Fuel tank is out. I'll pull the straps, get them out of the way. Next up, let's drop the rear end. All right, guys. So before we get too all fired up about dropping the rear end, this time I am not going to forget to take the brake line loose. Of course, I can't get the wrench on it. We just got that spiral wrap and stuff. So 
next up, we'll get the shackle bolts, front and rear. Unfortunately, I can't get a socket in there, so it's just doing it the old fashioned way. Take shock loose. Hopefully, that's bent, plus it's got a shock extender on it. Kind of weird. Well, I don't know if this light's going to show up enough to show what I'm doing here. But instead of taking the emergency brake loose and having to take the brake system apart, essentially, I'm going to just try and take the, since the cables have to come off anyway, I'm going to try and take the cables cable loose here. So first things first is back the adjuster off. Now we're loose here. Should just be able to pop the ends out here, like so. Take it out of the hanger. Take that hanger off. And next step, we will take it loose from the body. So the e-brake cable passes through the frame rail. I actually think I can get to that. Let's try my fancy wobble socket. That was the easy one. This one, not quite as easy. Piece of cake. I'll get the other side and be right back. So on the front spring hanger, perch, what are you going to call it, we're going to pull the entire hanger since we can't really get to the bolts. Get the other side, we'll be right back. After a little persuasion with the grinder and a chisel, got the last recalcitrant bolt out and the rear end now should just drop right down. Okay, well, it did. Now we'll break it loose from the spring perches in the front. Next up, we'll pull those shocks out and press on. Pretty successful day. We got the front suspension disassembled. We got the subframe out. Got the rear end leaf springs out. Didn't shoot a spring halfway across the shop. That's always a good sign. No bruises, no blood. I call that a good day. Next up, we're going to get the car on a rotisserie and uh, continue the disassembly of the Firebird. Sir, sure do appreciate you tuning in and certainly hope to see you again. Please like, share, and subscribe. It certainly would help me out. And everybody have a good day.